Oh my. Uh, back to my entertainment. No, I don't want to. Right. Um, pretty much what you want to do is just withdraw everything. All right, you don't need a single thing. You don't need a single thing on your base, except for your cell furnaces, of course. Just turn that off. Turn that off. And turn that on. Okay. Uh, yeah. So pretty much all you want to do is just get your basic iron mines, and then yeah, that's, that's how you want to do it. All four of your basic iron mines and do that way. And then yeah, you just wait so you have at least three thousand. Three thousand I recommend getting copper mine. You kind of just jump over all of these and then head to this one of course. I mean if you want to you just put some nice torches down. Put down your wood flooring. You know. Around the iron mines stuff. And yeah, there you go. And then pretty much just ignore this. Ignore these. Oh, look at that. We hit 3K. Let's get those copper mines, shall we? So kind of just get rid of all of the mines pretty much. And then just slap in the copper mines and be pretty easy. Of course, they take a minute to drop their ores, but it's three ores. It's pretty good. So just three, four hundred dollar ores in this. And then you will want to check if you can ever, you know, get another cell furnace, which is this one right here. But if you can't, then just keep going up with the mines from this point. You want to go up to probably the next one, I'd say. So just buy the crystal. Um, yeah, put down your cell furnace, and then get down your crystal mines, and then there you go. Dang, 700. That's 700 right here. So that's 20, that's 2.1 thousand. Just on these three mines, you make it 2.13 thousand. Or 2.1 thousand, excuse me. And, uh, yeah. That's pretty much it. Uh, 2.1k for every time these ores drop. And from there, of course, you just move on to more mines. Except for this one. Don't buy this one. It's obvious. It says it in the description right there. Worth zero dollars. Just, just go up, you know, once you hit 950k. Of course, you can upload, you can open your uh, baby gift if you want to. And yeah. Just do it that way. And let's get another mine. Uh, let's get probably the gold excavator. I know what I said. In fact, I haven't said anything, so what am I saying? Just buy two if you can. Buy two. It'll be easy for you, especially if you have, especially if you have an auto clicker. In fact, just buy one. Just buy one. And then just do this. 5,000. Of course, you just do it like this. You still make the amount of money, but it's a lot easier this way. See, now... See how I have not done anything remotely close to even using a single upgrade. In my opinion, for first lifers, you really don't need any upgrades because cell furnaces can do so much more than a basic setup can. Because with these, it's like 200 times, so why would you go for a basic furnace that only does one times? It's a lot better to do this way than, you know, honestly setups. Setups are for high lifers, and the higher you are, the better it'll get. So, yeah. You kind of just want to do this, and once you hit 950k, you buy your next cell furnace, or the cell incinerator. You just buy that. Swap it out with this one, because you won't be needing this one anymore. And then put it down, and just continue. You'll be making 50k this time. So, pretty much just we already hit a million. We're already a millionaire in that time span. And what's pretty good about this is it's everything. It's pretty great. So we can buy remote diamond mines if you want. You can go uranium, but I'm going to go down the remote 
the remote road. So, kind of just place your three diamonds and then just click if you need to. Just click like this. Or make it 200,000 for ore drop. Which is pretty dang good. So, this will be really easy. And yeah. Um, it will be pretty great, pretty easy, pretty simple. Just four items. You saw in the beginning, there's five items, and you own the items pretty much all the way, which is pretty dang good. Um, all you really need is just a cell furnace for your first life. That's all you'll really need up to the point of 526, which is when your rebirth price goes up. And you'll probably have symmetry in by then, but who knows. But yeah, you kind of want to just do this, check if you can buy any more mines, and Nope, I can't. I need more RP. I've only got 1.75k. So, um, yeah. All you've got to do is just click on this. Auto-click. Click on it. Install auto-clicker. Set up an auto-clicker with your mouse. Whatever. How much will we get with uranium? That's what I want to know. How much will we get your, with uranium? So... 600k that's a lot easier so you're making like 1.8 million just right here 1.8 million even if i bought like a ton of upgraders which i honestly cannot right now i can buy portable or advances but would they do much i doubt it but yes pretty much all you need right here it yeah i am lagging it will lag a bit but who knows who cares boom i'm already at 100 million i'm 100 millionaire already just from this just from this, I'm already at a hundred million. Now, of course, if you have UC, I'd recommend buying the Industrial Rainbow Mine and the Pirate's Loot Collector, which I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, which one is it? I don't, I can't find it. Whatever. But I'd recommend buying those if anything. I highly recommend buying those before you really do pretty much anything else. You don't have to if you can't. If you can't, you really don't have to. But, um, yeah, this is just simple how to get to 100 mil. Uh, I'll continue doing this until, of course, Life 26 or until the third sacrifice comes out. So, um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Night.